Hello and welcome to another fun-filled edition of Adam's Music Box. So I should really learn to put the microphone in front of me so you can hear me. Oh, well, nobody's perfect. Good mic and the mechanic song. Uh, today, it's all about Billy Preston, one of the great organ virtuosos of all time and one of the greatest exponents in the world of funk, soul, R&B and pop music of the gospel organ style. He is really someone who took the world by storm. And frankly, for a lot of people in the wider global audience, this would have been the first time that they would have heard that style of of playing, whether on the organ, which he was a master of, or the piano, which he was equally gifted on. And of course, what a wonderful voice he had. Now, in his youth, he was obviously a prodigy, and he played with the likes of Little Richard and Ray Charles and eventually the Beatles. And all of those gigs really thrust him into the spotlight. But the stuff that I really admire most about Billy Preston is his solo work and him playing it live, because as good as his albums in the late 60s, 70s, up through the 80s and 90s, because he really never lost any any of his ability. The stuff that really shows him off at his best is his live music. And there's a great video. The quality is obviously sort of fifth or sixth generation, so not great, but it's good enough to see just how good he was when he was in his prime. And this was from WNET Television in New York. It was an hour-long special that Billy and his band did. The Brothers Johnson, both of them, uh, were in the band at that time. They obviously went on to beat the Brothers Johnson and record some of the best funk and soul albums of the 70s and 80s. And he's going back and forth between electric piano and organ, singing all the while, just having a great time. You can really tell that he's having a fun time on the stage. And it's just marvelous. And there's um, a new clip, well, not new, but from 19, I think, 73 also from Beat Club, the wonderful West German television show that over the last four years has released just about everything from their archives onto their YouTube channel. And there's some great footage uh, in high quality, you know, first generation video on there. And he's also been on the Midnight special and they release a new episode every Friday which I find marvelous and by new I mean from the 70s but they're releasing them sequentially so it's it feels like the real thing feels like the first time and uh Billy's all over that <clears throat> over a few episodes and that obviously first generation video looks and sounds good and watching him live you can see what others saw because people like little richard and the beatles would have seen him play live in ray charles's case would have been heard him play live but you get what i'm saying weird language this um and they would have felt that they were in the presence of this young kid who just had boundless energy because that's probably the best way I could describe Billy's playing. And even into his final decades as a performer into the 90s and early 2000s, he maintained that energy and maintained that passion, always got the audience involved. It really was the pop music version of being in a Baptist, a Southern Baptist church. Um, and his style was really, it was inimitable. His singing was versatile, but his writing was always very soulful. He never strayed far from that original essence that made up his music. And he even did some great impressions. Uh, if you Google, I think this would have been a 90s or very early 2000s performance of You Are So Beautiful. And he sings it in various vocal styles, getting the audience involved, making them laugh, but also getting them into the music. Because uh, he wrote that song, uh, even though Joe Cocker was the one who made it famous, um, it's a Billy Preston song. Uh, so definitely check him out. Um, he didn't always have the easiest life, and he wasn't without his own demons that sometimes came to the surface, especially in his later life. But musically speaking, he was always absolutely spot on. And I'm sure that his devotion to God got him through the more difficult times in his life. Musically, though, it was all great. So give it a listen. Like, subscribe. We will see you next time. Take care.